Hi Queens, Miss PK's and Miss PK's Crochet Braids located in McDonough, Georgia. And before I do the new hair reveal and review, let me let you see what I do before I install my crochet braids. So Queens, it is good for you to leave out a small amount of your edges. And this will help to not only grow out your edges, but this will help relieve you and avoid the tightness the tension and the breakage that comes when a braider braids your hair too tight. And so you queens, you guys know when a person braids down your hair and then there's that tight pull right there. Well, if the hair is pulled too tight, then you're going to um, develop bumps and that's not good. So that is a too much pressure on your edges at that time so just leave out a small amount now if you guys don't want to gel down your edges because you really want that natural look then go ahead and take that small portion and just do a braid braid that across and whatever crochet braid install you're getting it should blend in especially if you're getting a natural curl pattern so I will do a video on that as well but you guys when you leave your edges out and you gel it down make sure that you only keep that gel in for about three days two to three days what you want to do is get some sea breeze astringent and just gingerly wipe out that gel and that way it'll allow that your edges to breathe and then come back the next morning and go ahead and reapply. And of course you want to wear your bonnet. Now ladies, this is the preferred one-sided part full beehive corn roll pattern. Now I came up with this pattern back in 2016 and this crochet bag braid corn roll pattern is still relevant today. This is for you ladies who don't want to flip your hair to the left or to the right. This is what you want to do. Here is another new hair reveal and review. I am loving this hair queens. So we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna take off this cap so you guys can see what I am working with. But first I want to say thank you guys, all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Um, the numbers are going up and so I am so grateful. So you guys leave your comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Just chat with me. Just, just get in there and say, hey, PK, you know, I, I would love to hear from everybody because I'm going to respond to everybody. So you guys go ahead, like, subscribe and comment. And um, I want to let you guys know I am enjoying myself. I am enjoying doing these videos for you guys. So please comment and tell a friend. So without further lateness or do. Let's take off this cap. I'm getting up closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right now, all right now, all right now. Look at here, look at here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. All right, ladies. All right, ladies. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with this hair. Now, if you like the natural hair and, you, and you're a naturalist and you do your twist out and you wear your hair nat natural, you do the shampoo, wash and go, then this is definitely something for you, definitely. And then for you ladies who, who don't want to do all that work, just go ahead and, and get this installation. And look at this guys, look at this. I'm gonna get it close so you guys can see. Look at that. Look at that natural curl pattern. So this here, right here, you see the loops? That is the butterfly. The rest of it is the passion twist. Therefore, they are calling this look is the butterfly passion twist eight inch. Butterfly passion twist eight inch. Isn't it beautiful? So, you know, you guys, this hair actually, it stopped right here. It stopped right here on me. And so, you know, I like a little style, a little pizzazz. So I went ahead and started chopping it and cutting it up to get this shape. Now, 
I like it like this. Now, some of you guys may want to have a little bit more up here on top, you know, like that. But I'm cool with this look right here. I really like it. So, yeah, so it comes this long. And I just went ahead and started cutting and chopping and, you know, just trying to get my style and shape. And this is what I ended up with. So, ladies, I love this. I love this. It's easy. Oh, my gosh. It's super low maintenance. You just have to spray this hair once a week, put your bonnet on, and you are good to go. Now, if you guys want to actually see me do the installation and the cut, just let me know. But the reason why I really don't do that because there are so many people out there that do the crochets that are cutting and doing all of that. But if you guys really want to see that, just let me know and I will make that happen for you. So, ladies, this is Lil Looks by Expression, okay? Now, I had to use all the hair for this, so I don't have the hair strand, but this is what it is. I don't have the hair strand. Had to use all the hair, and ladies, I actually bought um, 10 packs. 10 packs for $4.99 a pack, and but to be honest, I could have used one more pack just to fill in a little bit more in the back for me. I have a medium sized head. You guys just saw the picture of my head. I used 10 pack, could have did with 11, but um, this will last you a, a good six weeks for sure, for sure, with no problems. You don't even have to come in to get a refresh or anything. And I do believe the older this gets, the prettier it's gonna be. This is my first time doing this installation and, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, it the, the texture is soft, you know, it is really soft and you're not gonna have any problems with this hair at all. And I was telling you earlier, when you do your braid down, you know, of course, make sure you leave your edges out leave that hair out and just gel that down see how that's gelled down gel it down just gel it down all the way around and then that way you will have your edges intact and if you're looking for low to no maintenance get up look cute and go this is your hair most definitely this is your hair ladies loving it look at that look at that and you guys don't don't be putting all of that mousse and stuff in your hair i don't know why you do that because if you do that what's going to happen is you're going to get what's called residue buildup on your hair product buildup is a residue product buildup and so when you put that mousse on your head this synthetic is plastic fibers so it's going to get crunchy and hard and you're not you're not going to have that movement when you start doing that you're not going to have that now if you want to put that on your crochets um, because you don't want it to move then go right ahead but I recommend you guys don't use the mousse I don't know people are using mousse and, and don't don't use the mousse just use your basic synthetic wig conditioner that will do it one spray is all you need one spray and don't over spray it one spray is all you need for the week you know just make sure you take care of your scalp get your toothbrush and some sea breeze astringent and go ahead and lift the hair and go ahead and scrub your scalp cleaning your scalp because you can lift this and open it up clean your scalp all the way around and then come back with your um essential oil and carrier oil mixed in together um depending on what's going on with your hair if your hair is dry if your hair is oily you know there are different therapeutic properties in essential oils so once you figure out which one is good for your scalp and your hair, then that's the one you put in with your carrier oil. So your carrier oil is like your coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, et cetera, et cetera. You mix those in. And if you guys want me to do a little um, thing on that, you know, your carrier oils and essential oils and the therapeutic properties in the oils and all of that for your scalp and hair type and all that, let me know down below in the comments and I will be more than happy to put something together for you guys as far as that goes. So I think that's all I have to say about this hair. I really do like this hair and so I'm going to keep this in for probably three more weeks. Now if I wasn't doing these videos, I would keep this hair in for a full six weeks. 
You should be able to work out in this hair. If you perspire, hot flashes or whatever it is, you know, you guys, you'll be good to go with this hair. But if I wasn't doing these YouTube videos, I would keep this in for a solid six weeks and then take it out, give my hair a break. But I am loving this hair, you guys. And I've already gotten compliments on this hair once again. And I'm so grateful and I appreciate it. So you guys, I'm loving this hair. Let me tell you, see, look at that. Look at that, look how natural. See that, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Okay, ladies, queens, that you are, beautiful women that you are. I am enjoying myself. I'm enjoying my life. So you guys enjoy your life as well and be blessed. And I'll see you next time around.